Hi, this is Jeff. Uh, we're going to have a look at the Yongno RF602 and the RF603. Uh, we're looking at the Canon versions here. Uh, there's also a set for Nikons which uh, come in uh, yellow packaging rather than red, as you would expect. So we've been selling the RF602s since uh, about the middle of 2010. Uh, they've been very popular, uh, very reliable, lots of people love them, lots of happy customers. Um, so I'll run through the, the 602 features and then we'll look at the 603 to show what they improved moving from the 602 to the 603. So this is your standard basic kit. You can add to this as many extra receivers as you like, but you start off with a sender and a receiver. The uh, sender goes on top of the hot shoe of your camera. This has some little uh, contacts for Canon and that's the difference between the, uh, the Canon and the Nikon version is, is the hot shoe contacts. So that goes onto the hot shoe. This goes underneath your speed light. You can mount the, uh, the quarter inch thread either onto um, a, a light stand or onto a flash holder. Um, this runs on two AAA batteries. Uh, this runs on a little CR2 battery. Um, it's one of the downsides of the, the 602 is that they run on CR2s. There's not rechargeables out there, so you do have to keep a stock of spare ones of these. Obviously, you can get uh, AAA rechargeables. They're reliable, they go forever, not a problem there. What you also get in the box with this is a, uh, a connector. This is called the LS021 connector. It connects onto the, um, the receiver here, like so, and this allows you to uh, to fire a studio flash. If you've got a 3.5mm uh, sync port on your studio flash, this is the one to go for. If you've got a 6.35, then this gives you the adapter there. So if you've got a 6.5mm adapter or a 3.5, you're fine. And then you can just buy extra ones of these. If you want to use this as a shutter release, which it also does, then you need to uh, by the specific cable that plugs into here. This plugs into the side port of your, of your camera and then you can use this to fire your, uh, fire your, your camera remotely. Um, what they did when they moved to the, the 603 is they moved to a transceiver model. So they're both identical. Whichever one you put on the camera will become the transmitter and the other one will become the, the receiver. So a little bit more versatile um, they both run on AAAs, so no need for your, uh, your CR2 batteries. And instead of including a shutter release, uh, sorry, a, a, a release cable for firing a studio, they've included a shutter release cable. Um, they figure more people are likely to need a shutter release than there are people shooting with a studio flash. So there are now four versions. There's a RF603 C1 and a C3, and an RF603 N1 and N3, depending on the connector on the side of your camera. So this C3 suits the, the 1D, the 5D, the 7D, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10D range. Uh, there's another one which covers the new 60D, and then the, the 600D, 550D, and the, and the smaller cameras. So, Again, uh, they've moved to a more standard connector style here. So it's just a standard two and a half mil rather than a proprietary connector. And then that plugs into the side of your camera. And then if you want to add to these, you can just buy extra sets. So you're getting uh, an extra two at a time, whereas this you're just buying one at a time. So it works out cheaper to buy these in pairs as that is. So a little bit more versatile. And if you do want to uh, fire a set of uh, studio flashes, there is a standard PC sync to 3.5 and a 6.35 adapter. A standardized system here with a, a PC sync uh, and a standard 2.5 here. So, so that's the improvements I've made.